And hello guys, what's up? This is SC Gaming Nations. My name is Sean, and I am bringing you a video of game uh, game dev tycoon. And this is actually quite a fun game. Um, I've played it before. I've felt what it, the game is like, and it's not really that bad. All you have to do is basically create games, uh, try to get popular, and you start basically in a little garage where. Um, you just create your first games and everything, then you create a company, and it, I guess you can uh, hire people to help you in the company and like become big, like Activision and all the other kind of companies out there. So first of all, we're going to call our company name called SE Gaming Nations, and I'll put a link below. Um, link below on for this game if you do want to buy this or anything like that um, it doesn't really matter what this dude looks like so uh, you start off in a little garage as you see and what you need to do is you have to create like your first game so we're going to do my first game called AFL which that's a uh, Australian sports and you pick a genre, so this is going to be a simulation game, which is going to be sports with a platform of PC. Now, the reason why I don't do G64 is because the cost of it is uh, quite high, and you only have a certain amount of cash that you start off with, which is, which is 70k, and the market share of PC is actually quite low, but more people would probably buy it. So, you start off, that's how much it costs, so you basically have to just click next and pick, of course, 2D graphics, because you ain't going to do text space, because that's pretty silly, I guess. So, what this does is, you can pick a gameplay, how much gameplay you want to put in, and the story quest is going to be as much as you put in the engine quite a bit. Now, I'm going to pause this right here. Wait, you can't really, but um, what you have here is the bugs, design, technology, and research. Now, the bugs are like all the things that you need to fix at the end. Design is how like all the graphics and everything is. Just do this. AI is going to be pretty high, and the dialogues. Um, and like the bugs, you fix it at the end. The design is how like how the graphics and everything is in the game. And technology is like the. It's really hard to actually explain what kind of technology. Uh, I'm probably not really going to explain that one. And then you have the research, which gives you research things. So then once you uh, get better and everything, uh, you pick the. Uh, you can research a new topic. So as you can see, it's fixing all the bugs, bugs at the end. And basically you have an 8k monthly cost, which that goes to like all your energy and everything that you have. And then at the end you have this uh, kind of leveling system, so it like, can give you different kinds of things and everything once you level it up. And then you have your person which levels it up. So at the end uh, what you can do is release game, or if you don't really feel happy with how you made the game, you can just trash the game basically just a waste of money. So at the end after a while the first reviews for your game will soon come in and then they like break games so six so it shows potential which is actually quite alright. Five a six and a six. So this goes on how many people are going to actually really buy your game. Now I did skip the tutorial because I didn't really want to do the tutorial. So as you can see, um, it sees how many people have like bought your game in like the first week as it's been out. And of course you get fans. So basically once you finish that you can do research which you can do like new topics and everything which I'm not going to do. So while that's selling, you can, I'm going to create a, another game. Now we're going to do probably... Uh, Military and call it Fall of Duty. Now, you don't really want to do real games that like actually exist, which I don't want to do because that would probably be mostly 
copyright. So I'm going to do back on the PC, do gra 2D graphics again, and now it's just going to start creating. So as you can see, story quest, yeah. engine, yeah. So as you can see, I've already sold 8.9k, I mean 6.9, over 7k of this game already. Now that gives you, gives you cash at the end, which, um, which one, when you sell it to, it gives you fans. So as you can see, I've already have 23 fans already, which is actually, or oh, 25 actually, which is pretty good. Now, oh, well, that, yeah, I want to hear the pew 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 in the thing. So sometimes it goes high, as you can see here, it goes back and then goes down again. So basically, that should. So it sold 8,445 units generating and and generating ones is 59,136 in sales which is actually quite good for your first game basically. Now I want to see how this game actually turns out to be. So a uh, topic that I do want to talk about is my hobbies which Cooper did actually talk about in his other video that he put up yesterday. Um, and my hobbies are basically mostly gaming. Um, I do have other hobbies such as like basketball and golf and all that. Um, but mostly I would stick to gaming and basically hanging out with friends all the time and, uh, and all that. So we're going so industry news. Recent market studies suggest that the Golver door. G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sec sector. Consumers prefer the low, lower price, greater ava ava <laughs> availability, and the flexible hardware configures configuration over the home computers. So basically, what they're saying is that these sales are going down with the Govador G64, and mostly people are buying the PC games. Now, the PC is actually quite cheaper. Experts say that th that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. So basically, um, what the Govador G64 is actually going down in sales, which is actually good. So that means more people will be buying my games. So where I was heading out before is uh, with my hobbies. Um, I do basically do games all the time because uh, it's, it's fun, you know. And the YouTube I am doing because um, it's actually quite fun, and I do want to entertain other people out there and just not entertain myself, basically. So we did actually try this uh, this channel with Cooper, um, which was actually quite good. Um, I might develop one more game actually. Um, which I do not know which kind of game. I think medieval. We'll call it Skid Room. Or. Yeah, Skid Room. Um, we're going to pick Adventure. So, um, I like to do uh, basically PC games, and we started off two weeks ago, oh, actually last week. And we actually put out a video like a week, a day after we did uh, start the channel, which is actually pretty good. Oh, and another thing is that you have your rank here too, which like rank on how good like the game is. And this was 30 years before like all the new consoles and everything were out, and basically only PCs were actually out. So here's a contract work. Hi there, I've just finished Fall of Duty and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use your skills like yours. Could you yeah, use your skills like yours? If you are even ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I can have some work for you, Jason. So basically, what you do is you're basically starting in just like a like a little business kind of place that you. Uh, design all your games and everything but then later on once you make more money and everything um, and want to get known more uh, you do basically uh, you do basically uh, get like a new like an actual company kind of office where you can actually hire people that are 
uh, to help you design these games and everything like that. So as you can see, we actually are getting a lot of a lot of bugs actually. Fall of Duty has achieved a company sales record of over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of SC Gaming Nations. Well, that is surprisingly good. I think so I do already have 75 fans as you can see. I don't know what these kind of things mean. Um, hopefully they mean something. Um, the skid room actually needs good graphics. We'll just keep that the same. So um, another series that I might be doing, which I don't really know if I am going to do. But if you do have any suggestions, please put it in the comment section below. And then uh, I might check it out and see if I can do it. Dinky key. According to the rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is, own, is known for a widely successful arcade game, Dinky King. So that's basically Donkey Kong and Nintendo. Okay, many industrial expert, expert, <laughs> experts doubt that, game, uh, that home gaming consoles will take off the bug. We are eager to see what Nin Ninvento will deliver. So I'm going to wait till this finish sales and basically I'm going to just sell this game. But I can do it actually now. So you record. So you basically level it up all the time. And you get I think you get new things every time you level it up. So, Fall of Duty is now off the market. It's sold 14,438 units, generating 101,105 in sales. Wow, that is a lot. Okay, so the first reviews have came for the Skid Ram. Let's see what we get now. Oh, fun at stages now. This ain't gonna turn out well. <laughs> Thought it would be impressive, but. Right. Uh. So medieval and Gretchen is great. So well, let's see how many we get sold in the first week. We do get actually quite a bit sold uh, and we lose fans. So this is basically where I am going to end this game, uh, this video out. And um, I will put the game uh, website to buy in the description. And um, I'll just read this out. Industry news. Today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TESS early next year. The console features cartridges, based games, and uniquely designed controllers. So, um, I might end this game here. Um, this sales isn't actually going that well. We are losing fans quite a bit, but that's okay. We'll we'll get them back one day. Um, so I'll pause it here, and I thank you guys for watching. Uh, put in the description below, I mean in the comments below actually. Uh, what what kind of other series do you think I should be doing? Because this week I don't really have much uh, series that I do want to do. So I'll probably just do a fun game this week and get both the series is going up next week but this will be uploaded to, uh, well I'm recording it the day before so it will be uploaded to, uh, today I guess it's uploaded and uh, I'll do another one next week which this will be selling the series is. so I'd like to thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to rate comment subscribe leave some feedback in the comments and I'll reply to them once as soon as possible as I get him. So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.